This conference will now be recorded. Yeah, hi team. Uh, good evening. Uh, Excel data. Oracle Excel data X8 X8 M part one. So uh, this we decided uh, we divided into uh, five sections: Excel data introduction, hardware architecture, software architecture, networking architecture, installation on VMware. So uh, coming to the installation on VMware, so we have all these lectures, lecture 20 to lecture 29, starting from cells installation, and we ended up at rag database creation. So uh, if you see, uh, you will start at nowhere actually, I mean virtual rack layout nothing empty boxes we will start cell servers and db servers but we will end it creating like this virtual rack so far with all this stuff i mean oel 5.11 installed on first cell server on top of that cell software installed we create ASM disks, we call them as a grid disks in storage cell. And like that second cell prepared, third cell prepared, and then two database nodes to fill a quarter rack uh, a configuration, three cells and two DB servers, five servers we are going to uh, you know, make. Uh, on DB servers, operating system, grid infrastructure services, or DBMS software until database creation, you know, uh, all steps are uh, given step by step in step by step given in almost uh, uh, 20 to 29 means 10 lectures only installation covers 10 lectures before that hardware and software and networking architecture also we discussed architecture i mean what are all the hardware components within the rack like there are five different hardware components db servers cell server second one third one is networking components means cisco admin switch infinity band and external pdus uh, sorry exadata pdus so these five components in detail we have discussed in detail we have discussed front panel features back panel features all this stuff in exadata hardware architecture once as part of architecture hardware architecture you have seen db servers and cell servers and networking components you should know what are all the software components involved in them i mean in compute servers what are all the software components like all this stuff and storage servers what are all the software components and the sfc architecture uh, all this stuff we will see pmm and modifications to software and hardware components in the architecture part so it's a highly uh, you know uh, refined subject hardware architecture net stuff software architecture and finally our favorite part networking architecture what is management network and what is the purpose of it and what are the links connected what is uh, management network layout and uh, all this stuff we will see and in ilom also uh, you could see all this uh, what is the ilom network and what is the purpose all this stuff and the same thing continues to kind of continue for uh, infinity band client networks also infinity band purpose links connected layout addresses all this stuff and client network also what is the purpose links connected and where you can see the addresses and how do we connect to the client network all this stuff and how the exadata internal connectivity how do we connect to the internal components means db cells in cisco pdu how do we connect to them and how you our exadata is connected to the external components like uh, network courses out of bands with gfs oem multi-rack all this stuff i mean it's a detailed explanation on networking architecture we did so installation architecture and coming to the introduction we have uh, you know decided in uh, seven uh, parts one is exadata configurations i mean models uh, db servers and C, uh, on uh, based on cpu sockets and disk type cell servers fixed rack models 
elastic flexible rack models capacity on demand all these configurations we will see and coming to exadata version starting from v1 x8m everything is uh, uh, discussed here with some details uh, what are all advancements version to version this we discussed and coming to the database challenges db growth and performance how that are overcome uh, with exadata we discussed and another favorite part is traditional rack versus exadata there were some comparisons so there were some 27 comparisons we made and i explained each and every part explained each and every part and before that there are dma roles what are all the dma roles that are done by a db and you know, that are not done by a regular dba so that we have discussed i mean operating system wide how dma uh, will work network related backup related that are not done by dba done by dma uh, we discussed here in this class and lecture two is a it teams in general and where is our dba in that it teams and what are all the responsibilities responsibilities all this stuff we discussed in the uh, uh, lecture three uh, so lecture two and coming to the course outline today's lecture yeah my name is gautam senior oracle dba uh, currently working as a dba manager in a leading financial organization 12 plus uh, years experience uh, i'm an architect yes. and coming to the training objective uh, in two parts we're going to explain the training this part is part one and the next uh, uh, course is part two as part of part one training uh, we are covering introduction history and uh, evolution of exadata hardware software networking architecture of exadata and installation and configuration of exadata if you see here introduction history and evolution of exadata is in exadata introduction section one hardware software networking architecture of exadata is section two three four and installation of exadata is section five so like this there are uh, there is a four ten page standard documentation we have given four ten pages standard uh, documentation uh, we have given you will uh, install on your own uh, in your laptop if you follow the uh, document uh, uh, step by step step by step yeah so that is uh, actually the training objective is that uh, that to install the exadata in your laptop and to get accommodated with all terminology and get the deep knowledge into the networking and all all that stuff and in part two all this administration uh, oem promoting and asr patching and troubleshooting licensing support and, uh, and uh, certifications and day-to-day -day administration on db servers and cell servers all this stuff we can discuss in part two part two is not included in this training it is another course this course is only part one almost close to 29 30 hours and 29 lectures and audience yeah database administrators smes and architects coming to the prerequisites uh, you should have a sound knowledge on uh, basic database concepts and a fair knowledge on networking uh, storage and system admin concepts coming to the terminology uh, i would like to stress on only one thing here exadata database server exadata database machine both are different in exadata database machine we will have exadata database servers when we tell when we call it a mission it is a complete exadata rack with all db storage servers and hardware software networking components that is a complete mission 15 feet uh, uh, top to bottom mission within that there is a db server yep and coming to the versions uh, here in lab we will go with these versions 11203 particularly and cell software is 112321 and the theory almost uh, applicable to all versions you, you should go with the sound theory in my explanations and coming to the frequently asked questions about the full yeah i'm a full-time employee uh, daily going to office and uh, you know 100 percent confidence you will get to work on exadata after this training you could get interactive training with me as well based on my holiday i'm almost latest and I provide uh, carport training based on uh, my uh, vacation. And every quarterly, I will uh, revision this uh, you, uh, this course and put it in Udemy as well. Both uh, practicals and theory are there. Uh, 
and yes you can install the exadata in our laptops and all software stack i will provide you all softwares needed to install exadata i would provide you and why i am a lot of content on internet but why our training means once you go through at least four or five classes you will come to know why our training step by step quarter rack installation we have given and i have gone an extra mile explaining many other things related to network storage and linux in depth in depth so a clear clear explanation as well i have put all my heart and soul to conclude many topics and uh, you could see that uh, just uh, in the coming classes so what is my aim my aim is uh, everyone should install exadata in their laptops should not feel exadata as a rocket science and i need to see some smile on uh, you know uh, train his face five star rating they should give me and if you want to give four star rating before giving just let me know what should i improve to get five star rating so that uh, i could uh, improve or no to five star rating so this is my introduction and course outline so good luck thank you so much uh, all the best uh, for your exadata journey thank you